if you use obs or streamlabs to live stream you know how hard it is to actually be able to bring in guests into your streams personally to do it i have to use a tool called video ninja some people use zoom or other conferencing apps to be able to bring in guests and actually use some sort of screen capture or windows capture to actually do that which is super super complicated and actually may be time consuming but hold on i got a good news for you if you use streamlabs to live stream actually streamlabs just dropped a new feature that is going to allow allow you to bring in guests within the software itself. So this is going to be a built-in feature. It's called Collab Cam. You can actually be able to bring in up to four guests. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use this feature within Streamlabs. And I'm going to show you some samples, obviously, of me playing with it. So let's not take my time. Let's get right into it. Just to let you know that today's video is actually sponsored by Streamlabs. So we're going to go ahead and actually open Streamlabs right now. We're going to go ahead and actually create two scenes. Okay. So the first scene is going to be the solo. I call it solo scene. So this is going to be uh, the other person. Okay. And then the second scene is going to be duo guest. Okay. So let's go ahead and actually do it right now <clears throat> and this is my main camera basically okay so i can switch between me and to the other person or my guest and to the duo scene which is gonna be me and the guest okay uh, let's go ahead and actually start with the solo guest so for the solo guest what we need to do is actually to go ahead and uh, add a source and this is gonna be our guest and once you go to sources you're gonna be able to see collab cam is actually going to show uh, show up here among your general sources and what you need to do is just you're gonna need to uh, click to collab cam and click add source and obviously it's going to allow you to either to name it you can keep a uh, collab cam if you want or you can name it anything that you want and then once you're done just click add source and it's gonna give you a link so you're gonna use this link to actually copy the link and send it to your guests okay now you got a few settings here you got the webcam source that you're actually gonna need to send to your guests so they can see what's going on so you have a few options and for your microphone depending on how many microphone sources you have uh, you're gonna be able to pick which one you're gonna send to them okay now you also have an option to share a video source of your your choice if you have a particular video source that you actually want to share to them you have that option as well but for now we're gonna leave that option alone as soon as we're done we're gonna copy the link and we're gonna close and we're gonna send it to our guest okay and as soon as they they receive the link they are going to click on it they're gonna get some options to choose a microphone uh, and the camera and they're actually gonna be able to join the stream as soon as they join you're gonna get a notification right here in the corner and you are going to click to it and allow actually you have this button to actually show on the stream as soon as you show on the stream this is what it's gonna look like now we can have one image kind of full screen for the solo scene again this is gonna depend on your show if you're streaming on youtube or twitch and you can actually use the same image on the guest scene to kind of have like you know kind of have yourself and the guests on screen at the same time now as you can see i have an overlay that i have actually created for this duo scene and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and actually add an image source and i'm going to look for it and i'm going to actually overlay on the top of my image and my guest scene and at the same time i'm going to resize and crop the image just to fit under the overlay now this is gonna depend on how many guests you have if you have only one guest then you're probably gonna use a duo kind of overlay but if you have more than one guest you're probably gonna have to design multiple scenes as for the audio as you can see i'm getting the audio from the guest and you know you can see i'm getting the audio from the collab cam here in my audio mixer and you can actually increase or decrease the volume as you wish so guys this is gonna be super super useful either you stream on youtube twitch facebook any platform either you are into gaming 
streaming or you simply creating maybe a podcast or any kind of live stream when you need to actually have a guest on. Uh, actually, it's giving you more than one guest. It's giving you up to four guests. But other than that, if you want to bring in a camera source, let's say using your smartphone, you're going to be able to actually do that by uh, actually sending yourself a link and bringing in your smartphone uh, into the stream and be able to use that as an extra angle. If you're not using Streamlabs to stream, actually, I would encourage you to actually check it out because it's a free software that you can actually use, especially if you are familiar with OBS. This is going to be even easier compared to OBS. And if you want to check out Collab Cam, I'm going to leave a link down below as well. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. My name is Sam and this is Live Production Tips and Tools. Remember to hit that like and that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care.